and Barry and Sanders, I just want to answer some of these folks going around with signs. I am technically a registered Democrat, voted uh, Democrat for 30 years. With this election cycle and knowing the kinds of friends and background that Barack Obama had, my country going towards socialism, now a Congress that doesn't give a damn what we think, they pass a health care tax when they don't care what we think. I think there needs to be uh, changes in health care. I think it needs to be reformed. But I am tired of listening to people who don't give a damn what Americans think. Ward Lathrop of Clinton, New Jersey. Uh, the only fundamental change we need is a return to constitutional fundamentals. That's it. As opposed to what Barack Obama said. And another thing is, uh, they talk about cap and trade. What we mean, what they mean about it is cap our freedom and trade our sovereignty. Yeah. had drive-thru deliveries back in the mid-90s. Um, unfortunately, I was right about something. I said, these hospitals just ain't been sued right about these deliveries. And unfortunately, it took the death of a baby for things to change. And I basically left the profession and never looked back. I would agree that we absolutely need health care reform. <laughs> but um, any bill that comes out of our Congress that doesn't start with tort reform is a joke. Because, you know, that's the beginning and the end of the initial problem. Additionally, we're going to lose a lot of doctors and nurses, you know, like me. I've even considered going back into the profession. Right now, there's really virtually no jobs. I shouldn't say there aren't any, because someone has nudged me about something. It's my own fault for not pursuing it, but there have been some reasons for that. But there's not a plethora of jobs out there right now for nurses. And why is that? Because hospitals don't know what's going to happen. Uh, hospitals have closed, etc. But my point is, socialized medicine is not the answer. It's just going to make things worse and worse and worse. And as many of these times, you know, I don't want to you know, be the one working at whatever I do, whether it's nursing or my, using my degree in management or my master's in counseling, to pay for the guy who's just sitting around Amen. doing whatever. Absolutely not. I've worked hard to get all three of my college degrees, and they can get one too and go to work. stands around and talks about these things. You can sit around and argue about it all you want, but it's not getting anything done. These protests, they're really not doing anything except showing the government how angry we are. I'm just saying, just listen, listen. Nothing is ever done. These things happen all the time, and still they're still coming out with bull crap bills and laws. Well, I think, gather together like we are here and stand up and take it. Don't just sit and talk about it. Say, I don't want this anymore. I don't. I will after this, and I'm going to get pretty drunk. So, stand up and do something about it. Like me, I wear a gas mask. A lot of people complain about it. This is my individuality. I want to come here with a gas mask on. So what? Huh? Stand up and do something, rather than sit around and talk about it. Vote. Vote's not doing anything. Obviously, vote's not doing anything. My suggestion. My suggestion is get together like we are here. Go down to Congress and take it back. That's what we did in the first place in the Revolutionary War. We took our freedom. We need to take our freedom again. All you people, you, you sit around and, and you do nothing. You just complain about it. Go down there and take it back. Right? I'm not saying forcefully walk in there and take it. I'm saying if you don't, if you don't let us have our say.
Washington marches and marches for this one. Okay. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, first of all, I'd like to thank all our veterans for the right free speech and to do nothing in front of you. And, and we all come to an understanding and, and get this country back. Like we 